Hi and welcome to your TLC class today. So I have my chair and a mat. The reason being is because my floors are pretty um, slippery. So make sure that your chair won't slide or move. Um, you can place it on a mat, but again, just be careful. Okay, so let's get started. I'm gonna start by holding onto the back side of the chair and I'm gonna send my hips back. All right, so I'm gonna try to get this nice little shoulder stretch. So I'm opening my legs as wide as I need and I'm just gonna stretch my hips back as I just let my head go and you're gonna find this nice opening in the shoulders. I'm just gonna breathe here, taking a couple of breaths. Filling my back and then exhale. Two more, inhale. Exhale. And last one, deep breath in. And exhale. Good, now from here, I'm gonna carefully bring my spine in neutral. And we're gonna do these gentle pelvic tilts. So we're gonna inhale here. And then we're gonna exhale, curl the tailbone forward as we gently hug baby toward our spine. And then inhale again to release. And exhale rounding the tailbone forward and release inhale and exhale starting to feel the lower back start to open so widen your sit bones and then exhale pelvic tilt good deep breath in and exhale pelvic tilt Deep breath in. Let's do two more here. Exhale, pelvic tilt. Deep breath in to release. Good. And then exhale, pelvic tilt. Good. And then slowly, when you're ready, you're going to carefully roll the spine up. Good. And bring it up. Good. Now from here, we're gonna do a supported lunge. So I'm gonna take my right foot forward. Good, and as I lunge forward, I'm gonna try to send my left heel down towards the mat. So really getting this nice calf stretch. Good, a couple of breaths here to feel the opening. In the back of the leg there. Good, and then I'm gonna switch. Step the right foot back. Good, press the right heel back and down. Couple of breaths. Try to keep the spine up nice and tall here. Good, and then slowly we're gonna switch again. This time, we are going to add a little bit of a side bend. Good, so we're gonna inhale, lift the left arm up towards the sky, and then we're gonna carefully reach it over to the right. So really opening up the left side body here. Good, couple of breaths. And slowly bring it up, lower the arm down, step the foot forward and switch sides. So right foot back, finding that same lunge, still getting this nice calf stretch here. And then when you're ready, you're gonna lift the right arm up and then gently side bend over to the left. Deep breaths into the right side.
Good. And then slowly come up and then lower the hand down and step the right foot forward. Good. Now from here, we're going to gently get a nice little quad stretch. So we're going to bend the left foot or left knee. Hold on to the left foot. And then you're going to try to bring both knees in line with one another. See if you can lengthen the tailbone down towards the mat and just feel the stretch there in your left quad. As you're doing this, I want you to flex the left foot, press your left foot into your hand. Good. Feel the opening there. Once again, a couple of breaths. And slowly release. Let's switch sides. So again, super important just to honor the body. If you're feeling really tired, tight, fatigued during the last few weeks of your third pregnancy, it's all good. And just try your best to do a couple of stretches, a couple of deep breaths during your stretches just to keep the body open and promote circulation. Good. And sometimes even just doing stretches for five minutes really gives you the energy um, that you need to help you throughout the day. Good. Nice. One more deep breath here. Good. And then exhale, lower down. Good. Shake out the legs. Good. Just shake it out. And then from here, we're just going to do some heel lifts. So keeping the feet parallel, hip width apart, you're just going to slowly lift and lower the heels. And as you do this, see if you can slightly hug your belly towards the spine, lengthening, especially here in the lumbar spine, finding that length in the tailbone. Good, as we lift and lower, nice and easy. Good, let's do two more. Good, and last one and slowly release. Good. Now from here, I'm going to turn my chair this way. So you're going to stand facing your chair for a nice little hamstring stretch. Okay. So again, just be careful. You're going to lift one leg up. Good. So I'm starting with my right leg. I'm going to flex my foot and open it a little bit more to the right. So I might have to bring my body a little bit more to the left just to make space for belly. And then when you're ready, you're just going to hold on to the right leg. Good. And then just send the body forward. Good. And breathe. Good. Find the length in the spine. And then slowly come up and switch sides. So right foot down, left leg goes on the chair. Once again, flex the left foot and then gently fold forward. Good. Keep your best. Um, keep trying to pull this left hip back to keep your hips square as best as you can. 
good and then slowly come up nice and easy and then step your foot gently down good now from there i'm gonna bring the chair forward facing good and then you're gonna have a seat on the chair good and now what you're gonna do is make sure that your feet are flat on the mat and then what you're gonna do here is we're gonna work on the toes so we're gonna try our best we're gonna spread our toes open them wide as much as you can and then slowly close them good and again open toes hold for a couple of seconds take a peek good spread them apart and slowly close good let's do that three more times so we're going to stretch the toes good open the feet and slowly release good two more spread good and release and let's do lot the last one spread good and slowly release good now sitting back on your chair you can bring your hands behind you like i have i just feel better this way supporting um supporting my back so it just doesn't slump down we're going to carefully bring the feet forward and we're just going to do some ankle circles good good and reverse good and then from here lower the feet down and then we're just gonna carefully sit towards the front edge of your chair good and then we're just gonna do some hip circles once again good circling rounding back good. moving the body opening up the sides good. getting the pelvis to move in all directions good nice and last one good now from here we are going to do our figure four stretch so once again you're going to take your i'll start with my left leg i'm gonna cross it I'm bringing my left foot on my right thigh sitting up nice and tall so either stay here if this feels like it's enough so I'm trying to really open my left knee down towards the floor. Feeling the opening in the left glute. I'm sure the glutes um, are pretty tight these days from holding, trying to hold the center of gravity, right? Because now our belly's being pulled forward. So glutes and hamstrings are super fired up these days so require a lot more stretching good so this is a great one just to get in there and then if your body allows you can also start folding forward a little bit getting deeper into the glute into that left hip again utilize the breath to open a little bit more And slowly release that stretch place the foot down and switch sides right foot good sitting up nice and tall opening that right knee out to the side deep breaths and then if your body allows again send the heart forward good good let's take one more deep breath here 
Exhale, let it go. Good, and then slowly bring the foot down. Good, just shake out the legs. And again, just shake it out, right? Move the head. Do some shoulder rolls. Good, and then just find a nice tall seat here. Tuning into the breath. Feeling the circulation in the body, feeling slightly bit more energized than when we first started. Let's place one hand on our heart, one hand on the belly, and take a couple of breaths together. So inhaling through the nose, Exhale, let it all go. Relax in the shoulders, letting everything melt into the earth. Two more, inhale. And exhale. One more time, inhale. And exhale. 